Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and welcome to another Hasbro Beyblade Burst unboxing and review. Today I have the Kirby SK2 and Yegjeon Y2 double pack. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. Here we have the big Beyblade Burst logo. Top right is a little advert for the Beyblade Burst app. Kirby SK2 is a defense type, and Yegjeon Y2 is a stamina type. And here are the two Beyblades displayed for you right here. We got the Hasbro logo on the bottom right. On the other side, showing you all the parts and stats for each Beyblade. So, the energy layer, Kirby SK2, Forge Disc is D04, Performance Tip is TD04, and as you can see, it has a lot of defense and a lot of weight and a little bit of agility as well. Yegdrion Y2 is the energy layer here, the Forge Disc is D03. And the performance tip is TS01. As you can see, it has a lot of weight as well and a huge amount of stamina. Here we have a little advertisement for the basic stadium. And this is just telling you that all the Hasbro bays are customizable with each other. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's get to unboxing. So this is pretty much everything out of the box. You have your set of instructions which tells you how to put your Beyblade together and how to play Beyblade. And of course you got your two Beyblades. This does not come with any launchers or rip cords. So let's start off with Kirby's K2. So Kirby's K2 was already released as a starter and a booster and this is just a recolor. As you can see it's got blue in the middle with yellow flames and gray chains. And here on the bottom, you can see the code for the Beyblade Burst app. Scan it and you will get this Beyblade in the game, which is pretty awesome. So Kirby is K2. It's got a really cool chain design and like the hidden Ks all around. So very circular, very good for defense. The Forge Disc, this is also known as Limited. You can see L for Limited. It's pretty thin and light. It's got like these four dips on each side, so not a lot of weight to that one. But for the performance tip or the driver, this one is called Press. It's a defense type. It's pretty heavy for a driver or a performance tip, and it pretty much has like this ball shape for defense and these spiked walls all around, which also kind of helps for life after death just a little bit because it's not completely smooth all, all around, but it makes it look pretty armored, which is pretty cool. All right, and that is Kirby's K2. We've been over this Beyblade before, so I didn't go into too much detail about it, but let's move on to Yegdrion Y2. So this is the dual layer version of Yegdrion. It's a very bumpy design all around, but this is a stamina type. You can see the Y in the middle for Yegjeon and the I think this is a dragon like the two dragons head right there and right there but it is pretty symmetrical because it is a stamina type even though it has these like bumpy designs to it here on the back the code so you could scan that right now and again we have gravity a great disc or forged disc great for defense stamina even attack if you want to have those heavy hits and for the performance tip, this is survive. So basically it comes just to a point, kind of like a semi-defense tip from MFB. So lots of good, good stamina parts. And since this is the new Beyblade, I want to compare it to the Takaro Tomy counterpart. So this is Jaeger Yggdrasil. And some of the parts are a little bit different. So Hasbro, Takaro Tomy. The colors are pretty similar. I really like how they painted the crest of the dragon here as well, but this one is gold instead of like this darker yellow here on the bottom. And as many of you know, biggest difference, slopes and teeth. And I don't really see much of a mold difference. Plastic on Hasbro is a little bit different. It is a little bit thicker, but other than that, not really much of a difference. And gravity is pretty much the same. 
And this is the major difference, is the performance tip or the driver. So Hasbro came with Survive, which is just like your basic stamina tip, but Takara Tomy came out with Yielding. So this plastic is called POM and it's very, very smooth plastic. So it has less friction and that means more stamina. So a little disappointed that has Hasbro didn't come out with a yielding, but eh, it's okay. All right, let's put Yegdron Y2 together. All right, so we got Yegdron Y2 and Kerbius K2. Time for a test battle. Three, two, one, let it rip. And of course, the stamina type wins, Yegdrion. One more round. Three, two, one, let it rip. Ooh, close round, but it did have that cool life after death spin. I'm giving that one to Kirby's K2. So that is pretty much it for my unboxing of Hasbro's Beyblade Burst, Kirby's K2, and Yegdrion Y2 Double Pack. What do you guys think about these Beyblades? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. And stay tuned for the battle between these two bays.